Jason Ball, Loretta Lynch. This is like the Olympics of motocross. You have to start at the area level, which takes place all around the country, and you got to get in the top eight or ten there. And then you go on to the regional level, and you have to get in the top six or seven there, depending on how popular that region is. So the people that are here are the 1,386 finalists out of that initial field of 24,000 or so. No one gets lucky and comes to the Rattle Inn. You have to work for it. It's so hard to get here. You gotta have good luck, good mechanics. You gotta eat right, sleep right. You gotta put them all together. If you win here, you have what it takes, and then you graduate to the pro ranks. Riders like Justin Starling, he's trying to find his way through these amateur races of graduating pro. Loretta's. Loretta Lens. Loretta Lens. I tell you, here at Loretta Lens. This is where you're watched. This is where you're judged. It's a big thing for these kids to just to it's get It's as here. big as it gets. It's not for the Starlings, not for Justin. For Justin, it's to come here and win. We've won here once. We're ready to come back and do it again. Uh, and, and we're gonna we're gonna take advantage of that. We're gonna do it. When you get to Loretta Lens, there are 42 riders on the gate. These are 42 of the best riders, not just in America, but in the world now. <laughs> We are an amateur race team as a family. This is not a hobby for everybody. To run that amateur race team per year is about $60,000. He knows what it takes. He gets it done. Where there's a support for him. Now, let me ask you this. Are you going to go out in the front? Are you going to go out in the back? I don't know yet. It depends how, when I, if I'm not going middle. No, no, no. I think you need to be in the front. Yeah, when Justin's happy, everybody's happy. Justin on race day, and I don't even care if it's Loretta's or a local race, Justin is a full-fledged jerk. But that's his way of getting into the groove. It is Justin getting his game face on, he is getting his mindset. He sits over there, he's got his little headset on, he's talking to himself, he knows what he's got to do. He wants to win, and he's getting ready to go out and fight a battle. <laughs> Everything's good. The bikes, uh, the bikes are good. We've, we've got a couple hours on the bikes. Uh, you know, typically uh, you want to ride your bikes a little bit, make sure they're ready, good to go. Uh, he's rode them for a little bit. Uh, he's he's good with it, but uh, we're gonna find out how really good they are when we get out here in just a little bit. Yeah, we're an hour and a half out, and and, and our motor's not started. We're supposed to be in staging. My bike still isn't together, but it's running. Stress. As long as my rider's ready to go. How's it going, baby? Is he good? Nothing about riding, it's nothing about racing. And I just want it to be okay. See, you don't understand. When you're a mom, you you raise your kids and you teach them to do everything. Unless you have no control over. Sorry. You just want them to be okay, and, and you just don't have any control over it. <laughs> wow, we broke a brake caliper. Come here! Hey, give me five, gay. Okay? Give me five. Come on, give me five. <laughs> He has no brakes. He has no front brakes at all.